Now, John, there's also an issue with uh, the area underneath one of the Sphinx's paws that uh, seismic charting has uh, revealed that there's some sort of a, um, a room down there, some sort of a... There, there is some sort of a cavity or chamber. We don't know. I mean, Edgar Casey, in one of his in one of his channeled sessions or trances, whatever he called them, uh, said that that the there was a chamber beneath this one of the he put different descriptions of it, but basically underneath one of the, the paws of the Sphinx that contained the secrets of Atlantis. Now, our seismograph tells us that there is such that there is a cavity there, but and this is a question that comes up all the time. Um, and they say, why can't they excavate? Well, we're the geophysicist who did this, did the work. I mean, Shock was there, but we had a guy named Tom Dobecki, who's a geophysicist, you know, who does the, it's like an underground radiologist, you know, the, the, the seismograph produces a reading that to you or me would be completely meaningless, like an x-ray was meaningless to you or me, but the radiologist can tell you a lot of, of very, you know, just, um, precise information from an X-ray. So with a with a readout from the seismograph, and and, and the the uh, Tom DeBecky said from the from the shape of the of the readout, it looks as though it is a chamber, more or less rectangular. It's under about fifteen feet of bedrock on top of it. Um, and there is actually a chamber which Tom didn't even know about behind the Sphinx, a rough cut chamber. There's a block and you pull the block away and you have a little rope ladder. You can go down into this rough cut chamber where there's nothing and nobody had been able to figure out who cut it or why or when. But there is such a chamber there. And on the, on the seismograph readout, the, this looks the same, in other words, you get certain colors and stuff like that, looks the same as what you get under the paw of the Sphinx. So, the Becky, who, you know, put his neck on the line and said, well, this looks like, cautiously, like there is a chamber there. The problem is getting in there um, because it's below what's now the water level, the water table level, so if you, you can't really excavate or it would be enormously difficult to excavate. You go underwater, actually. Hmm? You go underwater, you mean, as you drill, as you would dig into it, you would actually go underwater. Drill. But in theory, you could put down one of those little fiber optic cameras, but if it's all water in there, you're not going to see anything anyway. To actually excavate it would mean going in there with, you know, with huge pumps pulling the water out as fast as it came in, and the Sphinx is, the Sphinx is... That would be almost impossible, <laughs> right? And the Sphinx is, it would be possible, but it would be dangerous because the Sphinx is, you know, is in pretty rough shape as it is. I mean, pieces fall off it all the time and things like that. So it may be one of these days. Who knows if the theory takes, if the, if the theory takes root and, and, you know, and the, and the, uh, you know, the, the powers that be realize that it's good PR, among other things to try to excavate it and see if there is anything there. Uh, meanwhile, for me, I'll stick with the geology and the other pieces of evidence. I don't, I don't give an awful lot of thought to that, but the seismograph says there is something there. Yes.